looking dapper. I'm really worried about that. I think it's going to scupper my plans again. Sanctuary established. Hope rises. And all of the discontent is gone. All of it. Wow. That was crazy good. Thank you very much, We the Dragons. Taco time. And James. Wow. That is a lot of bits. Thank you so much. Also, interesting bits. My first ever cheer. You earned it by telling me I had Twitch Prime. And for all the good times you have given me and my family over the years. Oh, cheers, man. Love you, brother. Love you too, mate. Thank you, dude. That was really lovely of you to say. Uh, right. Things seem to be going reasonably well. Uh, let's get this place a little bit warmer. Scouts have reached their destination. Temporary settlement. Temporary settlement seems to have been abandoned. It consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty. An upright boulder stands at its center. Memory of injustice. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its roughly plain face, someone chills at the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress. For we can't. We won't touch the monument, but we decide to dismantle the huts for wood. Found the dreadnought landing and the walled colony. We are immediately going to go and check the walled colony. It'll take us 16 hours. A sizable settlement surrounded by a low wall made of stone, ice, and snow. No movement or smoke. Very well. Let's get out there. Wow, we haven't even checked out what's down there. We're doing well, though, I think, for the amount that we're managing to research. Uh, okay. We've got 20 hours and 43 minutes. Ooh, we might make it. We might make it before that causes us an issue. Ah. Uh, the Lenders gain more followers. Skylar. We really do want that other automaton to work the uh, song up. Looking dapper. Thank you very much, Clarissa. You've gifted a sub to We the Dragons. Oh, that is so kind of you. Thank you so much. We have to get organized. We have to do something. Can I get a sermon going? No. Alas. Hopefully hope will continue to rise, though. Almost all of our people near, live near houses of prayer. Good times. Uh, they're going to be back soonish, so I actually really do want to get some tents at the very least, but I'm going to need them to be bunk houses realistically. Sawmill upgrade researched. Fantastic. I would love to research more, but I need places for our people to live. I'm also going to need to run a road around this. There we go. Excellent. We're getting plenty of wood coming in. Good, good. More wood. More wood. Does that reach? It does reach. We'll get one over there, perhaps. Uh, yeah, it will, it'll still reach over on that side as well. That'll be enough. To take the children, which is the main thing there. And all those steam calls, my lord. Right. Um, there's a couple of insulations I'd like to build. But for now, I think... Either the lighter sleds or the factory is my uh, next priority. What do people think would be best? I'm, I'm leaning toward the factory myself. Coal doesn't seem to be an issue right now. Let's have a look at our economy, though. Yeah, we're gaining coal per day. Food? We're gaining a little food per day. Mm. 
Many untreated citizens, but we cured 14 yesterday, so that's not too bad. Um, vacant beds, 33, so we might need an extra one. Uh, no, once these are built, we're going to have all the beds we need for now. Uh, if someone will be kind enough to fix all of that. Long hours of toil. Sir, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shifts for days on end. Their effort is taking its toll, and they're becoming restless. They deserve a break. Good idea. We'll have to keep regular shifts everywhere for three days. Um, no. Good idea. That's fine. Let the people rest. It's automatically turned everything to uh, that for now, which is good. And we can take a new item. Uh, I'm thinking ceremonial burials. Loss of hope caused by death is halved. Um... Though, what I noticed in the last one was that you actually got got hope, which was strange. So I don't know. Should we go for the evening prayers? I think evening prayers. Yeah. We're, I'd like to see what the temple and the faith keepers are. The temple might be an upgrade to the house of prayer. But shrines would also increase um, work. Uh, you know what? That that might be a good one. Hmm. Okay, so, so between shrines and evening prayers, what does chat think we should go for? <sighs> Feed the dead to the generator as it is a form, as it, as it is from him we receive sustenance. Want not, waste not. Shrine, prayers, prayers, shrine, 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 shrine. It looks like shrine is slightly winning. Though, uh, I don't know, prayers are starting to, to win over because evening prayers. Shrines will be able to pass a new law sooner. Evening prayers we're going to have to wait a lot longer for, for the next one. In fact, we'll have to wait twice as long to be able to get evening pr uh, to be able to pass the law for shrines after we get evening prayers. Whereas if we go for shrines, it'll be half as much time, and then we can take evening prayers straight after it. I think shrines because of that. Shrines are built. Uh, shrines must be built rather. Ten wood, ten steel. It's not uh, a lot to to pay. And if we place it over here. You can get a, a nice bit going on there. Uh, I'll place it just slightly off, though. So we can hit that one there. Also, like... Ah, uh, it doesn't count those. That's a bit of a shame. Um, if I place this here, I will hit both cookhouses and this infirmary that I'm not going to hit otherwise. And finally... The fighting pit? Does the fighting pit actually get affected by it? Curious. I'm not sure if the fighting pit get, really gets affected or not, but it seems to. That one's already covering that cocker, so... Um, I could put one... You know what? Let's, let's not put it right next to where... I've got an actual house of prayers, so we'll pop one there. Is this going to be built ever? I'm really hoping it will. It kind of needs it, you know? We should have enough people just out and about to get it done. Uh, did I get a notification for Warbler subscription? Um... Uh, yeah, I I, I, th I thanked them for it as well, I, I believed. But, just to be certain, thank you very much, uh, possibly again. If not again, then thank you very much twice. One, to make up for the fact that I missed it before. But I, I actually think I, I got it. Thank you. Have I played DR Billions? Yes, I've actually streamed it. It's a pretty fun game. In fact, I consider this game somewhat similar, but just, you know, very weakly... I like. It is about to get cold. Hopefully, we've got 
Resolves in 11 hours. I'm worried about that. I think we're going to fail that because this is going to happen again. And it's going to destroy our hope. So annoying. Is there anything I can do to try and help that? Eight hours. But I still don't think this is going to be f far out enough. I'm, I'm going to start researching it just in case. But I, I think we've lost it. Uh, no, overdriving the journey w would only heat these homes. It wouldn't heat the others. And the others are only livable right now. They will drop a heat level. These ones will be fine. They drop to comfortable. Which doesn't, doesn't bother me. Uh, shrine's built. Hope rises. We're about to lose it all because of stupid timing. There's very little we can do about it. We're not even going to get that in time. Five out. We might, actually. Never mind. We are, we're about to... Oh, so bloody close, though. That would have been quite annoying. Uh, where's the other one? Let's get you sorted there, yeah. Oh, when did these arrive? Numerous snow shelters, expertly built from blocks of hard-packed snow, huddle around cold, burned-out campfires. A deathly silence hangs over the colony. Some of the exiles are still alive, just barely. We could try to bring them to our city, although they might die on the way. One of the dying held a diary to his chest. We read the last entry. Exile from Tesla City. With food and fuel running out, we sent the strongest among us to search for help. They're our last hope. We're afraid this ref to those poor Yankees we buried. Um, they'll rob the. I'm not going to rob them. What would what what purpose would that speak of? Now we'll take. There's seven children amongst them as well. Eighteen engineers and thirty-six workers. We'll take them back to the city. We pulled the dying exiles from their snow houses and prepared them for the journey to our city. Some of them stirred from their death like slumber to bless their absent friends, bringing them help. We couldn't help. We couldn't tell them the truth. Not yet. Well, you're all going to be back here in a while. Once we've searched Freshwater Springs, we're probably going to take you back. I might have you go back along the path you've taken because it might be a little bit better. Um, depends. If you if you have people following you, I don't think we're going to be able to. But if if it's just resources, then we'll take the shorter route. Ah, right. Sumi, well, rip this game. Why is that, Sumi? Why do you think Dapper ripped this game? Let me know. Uh, right. Food-wise, it's not great. But I feel that at this point, we could possibly afford to have our cooks switch over to soup. We'll see how it goes. Come on. Almost there. Yeah, we're going to get in time. Hope rises! Hooray! Getting some more ill. Scouts have arrived. Plenty of children. Uh, food. And three steam cores. Amazing. Truly amazing. Right. We need to head back out straight away. Um, you know what? I'm a little bit more interested in seeing the... Uh, Red North City. So, 14 hours to arrive. You head out. Got plenty of coal right now. It is going to get pretty cold soon, though. Uh, the generator upgrade is 24% done. Uh, I mean, it'll be useful when we get it, but... The journey will, run, will consume a lot more coal when it happens. People regain hope. For the first time, the Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon our city and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock at the news of Winterholm and starting to hope for a future. I'm glad to hear it. It's excellent, in fact. We have to get organised. We have to do something. Temperature falls. Let's do a sermon. There we go. Now, let's have a look. These are going to be chilly. But the ones around the generator are okay, and we will push that ring out shortly. Now. 
got a lot of people heading our way. Uh, I am out of tea. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're being so kind. Uh, right. We need more homes. They will be here in 18 hours, and they're bringing quite a lot of people with them. And it is cold out right now. Let's get, let's get these homes built. Because we can't. Same over on this side. I'll give us 50. How many are coming? Much more than that. Alright. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look, quick look. How many homes do we have? Vacant Bears 18. Okay. We've probably got enough then. Right. Now we can have a look at our items. We've got House of Healing Field Kitchens. Each field kitchen will provide people working nearby with hot meals to keep them warm. Uh, raises the temperature of nearby workplaces by one level. You'll have to build two field kitchens. Wow. That's actually really useful. Faith gets all the good buildings. A faithful working in the house of healing will not only heal the sick, but also pray for them, giving them hope. Uh, the house of healing doesn't require engineers, treats the gravely ill, and gives all patients a small hope bonus. Have to build one. People slower than the infirmary. And evening prayers. I think we'll go for evening prayers here. But we'll see how it goes. Ah. Rui, thank you very much for the cheer. Because Amazon sold me these bits for cheap. And James. Uh, oh no, I, I mentioned that before actually. Oh, tea, noms. Mosta. She lab is off for the night. Alright, yeah, we're gonna get evening prayers. Because that will passively rise hope. Oh, actually. 20 food rations. Yeah, no, actually, go for it straight away. That was fairly solid. Uh, hopefully, they'll get that done quickly. The Omnisire Protect. Right, as soon as this is done, we will be getting honestly, at least probably four automatons. I really want to go with an automaton heavy build this time. Though, how we're going to manage for heat... Uh, sorry, for... Then the automatons we're going to need... Uh, sorry, the steam cores we're going to need to build the advanced buildings. I don't know. But, for example, if we're just, like, getting all our coal... Instead of from coal mines, but from coal thumpers. Just lots of them. If we had enough automatons, we could just run that entirely. And at that point, heat doesn't matter for our people. The distant areas don't matter. Um. <gasps> Shivery bum! Give me a second. Ah, uh, I've got a pause stream. I'm surprised you're awake, Cariat. Oh, she wants to come and see me, I think. I haven't spent much time with them today. How many hours with I Oh, there we are. Stream is on pause for a few sec. Well, a few minutes, let's be honest. Oh, you're like, delicious tea. Tell them my fads. Here you go, sweetie pie. Oh, your little paws are shivering. In fact, all of you are shivering with excitement. Uh, this is this is this is basically my break in the middle of the stream, where I can uh, check out what's going on in chat. Want a bit more? Do you? No, the chat hasn't seen Midner in ages. It's been Siri and Tally, but no Midners. Come here then, Midner Floof. Oh. There you go. Oh, sweetie. You alright? Oh. 
Got that. Go on my shoulder. There you are. Oops. There's a good girl. Thank you. You want more? You want more? Alright, you have to push on that hand while I get you more. There you are. Oh. Oh. Uh, I would not recommend having the scent glands removed of any animal, frankly. Also, that is really not the right... People think it comes from the scent glands. It, the smell, if there's any there, is not coming from their scent glands. It's coming from the, the oil in their fur. They will use their scent glands, much like a skunk will, to... If they're, if they're panicked, they'll spray. And, yeah, that'll get rid of that smell. But unless you're constantly going around spooking your ferrets, which, why would you? Then any smell that's there isn't coming from their scent glands. That That is something they use to mark territory, like when they're in heat or um, when, a, when a hob is coming into rut. Or if they're scared um, or agitated and they're basically spraying to warn someone off. So removing that does not in any way affect their, their odour if you will. Um, that just affects the, the defense mechanism. The odor that, that people usually uh, prescribe to ferrets generally comes from them eating a poor diet or not having their um, cage changed uh, often enough or, um, tragically, from people trying their best to wash the smell out, which just prompts the ferret to make more oils because they need the oils in their fur and for their skin. And... Um, if you wash them, you take those oils away so they produce more. Up to a point where they can't, and then they just get really bad skin because they need those oils for their skin. If, if you're washing it out faster than they can produce it, which is pretty difficult, you'd have to be bathing them several times a week, then they'll just get like cracked skin and eczema and all those kinds of problems. The easiest way to address the smell that a ferret has is to feed them the right food, which is their natural diet, which is meat, uh, meat, bone, organ, whole prey if you can, um, but franken prey if if you can't. So like you know, you you could just buy organs, you could buy like minced meats and things like that, and then just mix it in the right proportion, um, like chicken wings and all those sorts of st stuff. You know, you've got to get give them a good balance of bone. Got to give them a good balance of muscle meat, good balance of various organs, and like for example, you've got to balance the organs as well, so you wouldn't give them too much heart because that would be too much taurine. But they do need taurine. You wouldn't give them too much liver. You wouldn't give them too much kidney. That sort of thing. It's a little bit more involved to do frank and prey, but it's you know completely possible, and you can use human food for that. You can just go down the supermarket and buy a kidney or a liver or whatever. Um, whole prey is naturally in the right ratio. Because, you know, they're not going to eat too much heart because the thing they're eating only has one of a certain size. Um, but uh, the other thing is just to clean their bedding because in nine, nine cases out of ten, it's their bedding that's smelling because when they're rummaging around and roly polying and just enjoying life, they're rubbing that oil off onto their bedding. And whereas they'll, like, groom the oil off themselves to a certain degree and it'll just generally calm down, the bedding keeps the smell. And it builds up. Okay, this is your last sweet Or you're going to be bouncing around the cage, annoying your sisters. Uh, the treat I give them, by the way, is salmon oil. Now, even that, you can give them too much. Um, that's why I just put a little drop on my fingertips. Because um, that way, you just don't give them too much. But um, there are things that like give them sugar. But again, it, that's not a normal thing for them. They like it. You know, but... A dog likes chocolate. It's toxic for it, but it still likes it. Um, so generally speaking, um, I give them sort of natural things, so like fish oil as a treat. Yeah, ferritone is just full of, of sugar. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. I love you, I do. I do, I do, I do. It's time for you to go back to your sisters now. They'll be wondering where you are. Siri gets very worried when, when one of you disappears for a bit. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Thanks, Sheila. That was really lovely. No star. <laughs> She's straight to grooming Sheila's arms. Oh, that is a fantastic ferret emote, Shen. That is absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, how often do I change their bedding? Someone asked. Uh, frequently. I've got enough bedding that I could change... Like, I buy spare blankets as if they're saying that. I need to buy some more. Um, I change their bedding uh, generally. It depends a little bit when they're in heat. It's daily or sometimes twice daily. If they're in heat. Normally, it's like every two days or every day if, uh, if I feel that they'd appreciate it. They like new environments. And sometimes it's kind of like a bonding experience a bit, you know, just just sat there making making their making their den and laying out fresh blankets and stuff and they're bouncing around and enjoying it. Um, but you don't need to do it that frequently to to get rid of the smell. It's just that I have the means to and it's a way of spending nice time with them. Um, but at least weekly. At the very least weekly. Um, ideally maybe twice weekly, I would say. Uh, but I, I couldn't tell you how often you need to do it so that there's barely any smell. It's just that there's barely any smell with them. Um, Tilly makes more of a smell sometimes than the ferrets do. Um, but, you know, understand that I'm going to get used to it because I'm always in the house with them. Um, they smell less than a dog does, easily. And that's from someone who has kept both ferrets and dogs extensively through his life. Uh, but... If you don't, if you aren't as proactive as I am in changing their blankets, in giving them the right sorts of food so that their diet is, is good and they're not basically running suboptimally, and that takes its toll on the smell that they're going to produce, and cleaning their litter tray like daily at the at, at least, uh, then there's going to be an odor. Um, it is certainly not this this terrible pungent smell that that, that people seem to attribute to them. I don't like calling people out when they say, oh, I've kept ferrets, they, they stink horribly. But generally when someone says that, the first thing that goes through my mind is, then you weren't keeping your ferret well. Because normally your ferret doesn't uh, smell like that. Um, but, you know, I'm sure there's all sorts of reasons why that sort of stuff happens. So I, 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 I never call someone out, but that is the first thing that goes through my mind. Because generally they don't have that kind of odor, unless there's something not right about the way they're being kept. Thank you, N2 Shield. That's very, very kind of you to use your Twitch Prime subscription on me. Avic needs more blankets, which means people will send Avic blankets. <laughs> well, I buy, like, their bedding blankets. I buy, um, it, you can just get lots of comfortable, like, sort of bedding ba blankets for fairly cheap. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Dapplings do tend to send me, like, knitted blankets and things for them, and, uh, oh, they love them. Uh, I've got a little video of, like me giving them blanket rides, just running around with the blanket trailing behind them. They absolutely adore that bouncing on it and just, just doing their, their little ferret war dances. How long do ferrets live? Eight to ten years. Uh, a particularly healthy ferret might live longer. But, you know, around a decade. Thank you very much, Spanorama. Here are some bits for blankets. Oh, thank you. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, ferrets' noses, uh, that's a good good question about that. Uh, when it comes to washing the blanket, you use a very mild detergent, or you don't use detergent at all, and you use um, sort of, uh, you can make your own sort of detergent using vinegar that doesn't have any kind of like um, soap involved in it, but will clean out the smell. But generally, extremely mild. Um, stuff because they are sensitive to it, and they're not, not just their noses; their skin is sensitive to it as well. Right. Anyway, time for us to carry on. Cheers, Avak. Not used to seeing your face as I mostly watch your YouTube. Glad to see you're playing this game. Thank you. Now, what on earth were we doing? That was a very long break. I do apologize for that. All right, generator range upgrade is here, so I can turn that on and push it out to the very. Oh, actually, it's already turned on, so it has now pushed out to the very edges. That's good. 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 Um, I am going to need to start putting down my uh, heaters around these areas. Once I've researched them. I would really like to get lighter scout sled so they can move around a bit faster. But it has to be the factory at this point, I think. Let's get the factory. I want more, more automatons. That's important to me. We're already at the point where the Londoners are not gaining anyone anymore. That's amazing, considering they've, it's only taken us four days to get there. In before something terrible happens. I've just finished watching some playoff hockey and I see you're streaming. Life is good. Oh, I'm glad. 
to lie to you, you're happy to see me streaming. That is like half of what Avic is. Ferret. <laughs> yeah. Ferrets are a big part of my life. As would any pets be. Now I apologize for Ferret Cam Avic. That concludes Ferret Hour with Avic. <laughs> Tune in next week. Or maybe like day after tomorrow. I have been streaming a lot more lately. Um, and I'm pleased to be doing that. I really enjoy streaming. Ooh. Breath of hope. Sir, people have started to leave personal charms, beads, and written prayers at shrines as votive offerings. It seems it helps to keep the, their spirits up in these trying times. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, we've got quite a few people heading back. Let's just work out how many. We've got 43, 51, 61 people heading back. Yeah, we've got enough places for them. Good. So no more no more builder rings. We are fine. Uh, food. Coal. We're doing all right. Uh, how much food are we actually producing per day? Let's have a look at that. Soup-wise, we're producing 503 per day. And we're eating 252. So, yeah, we're, we're actually gaining quite a lot right now. That's good. It's very, very good to see. I wouldn't mind another hothouse, actually. Uh, on that note... Industrial hothouses would be nice. We'll see. We'll see. I think the infirmaries will be one of the next things that I get, though, because they are so much better than the uh, uh, medical tents because they fit more people. And as a re result of fitting more people, when you give them extra rations, it still only costs 10, but it now affects twice as many people as before. The American camp. Uh, well, we want to get around here. Now, that will take... One day in six hours. This will only take nine hours. Go here first. First amputation. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. Uh, we'll go for the care house into prosthetic law. Uh, we need the care houses now. And then we'll we'll get prosthetics after that. The, the main thing is we're going to have the uh, factories. So, there was no point in having prosthetics until we had factories, because we can't use them until then. Oh, we're going to see people going. We need uh, uh, extra resource deposits for that, actually. Let's pop that down there. I am also then going to remove this road. Don't need it. It's just wasting. love how beautiful this game is. Are they heading into the House of Prayer? This one will probably be the better one because there's so many more people around it. That is extremely toasty. Roasty toasty. However, do you know if this is on Steam? I'm a tad late to the party. It will be out uh, on Steam, on GOG, um, when, uh, when it's released, but it hasn't been released yet. Heating problem. Cold homes. <sighs> I'm going to have to go for this one because otherwise I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to have to get the heater, basically. Now, I was going to have to do that anyway, so it's fine. But uh, People living near the fighting arena are happy here. We've got a fighting arena over there as well, which is affecting a couple of places. We've got a fighting arena over there that's affecting a couple of places. But we are going to want one down around here, too. So let's actually pop that in because that'll be a big help at combating... Um, people's disgruntled uh, situations here. This is going to be for wood. It also means to me that the smallest weasel species is called the least weasel. Ah, oh, they are so happy looking have you ever seen them dancing around it it it, it feels of happy just watching them uh looks like we're just going to be waiting on this let people rest we've got another two days it looks like and a bit make more homes livable let the time pass
We have no more food to produce. Which is a shame, but it's also the way it's going to be. Now, I could build a new hothouse, actually. That's a good idea. Temporary settlement. Now it's only going to take nine, uh, 18 hours. Yeah, I think that was a saving. I could be wrong about that one because it is a little bit out of the way, but we'll see. In fact, I haven't. Not in personal, at least. But the videos I've seen are awesome. Uh, let's have a look. Um, leafing. I used to live in Greece. How's life over there? For me, it's stable. Not the best, but not as bad as people believe. If things get worse, I'll go to leave with nine. There we are. And nine is already, uh, because nine is a very, very, uh, dutiful leafing keeper. He's already made, uh, conditional plans for if things then somehow go worse where he lives, that he can come over here and he will pay for Leafin and his board by being my butler. Every, everything is good. Say what you will about Nine. He is quite crazy. But he does take the care of Leafin very seriously. Leafin is basically to Nine what ferrets are to me. Only, no, actually they're not. Let's take a step back. The level of, of platonic care, oh, no. The level of love that isn't sexual between Nine and Leafin is equivalent, less than, but roughly equivalent to the level of love I have for my ferrets. Somewhere around there, more or less. Basically what I'm trying to say is, is Nine has made plans. Plans within plans within plans. It's all okay. Leafin is a cat snake. Give me fish oil. <laughs> uh, I do need to get care home though. That's gonna be the next thing we go for. At any point, I can I can ramp that up a bit. I would love to get to the, the next range setting, but we're not going to need to get there just yet. Things are generally, though, okay. Generally. Sawmill has been kept warm, but eh, could be better. Once we can build the factory, I'm going to start getting the um, automatons out in the coldest areas. Writing on the wall. Trouble with the Londoners. Captain... Someone has to face the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear Will sh uh, Winterholm's fate, and scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. Send a cleric to re reassure people. Uh, ignore it. No, we'll send a cleric. We have clerics, after all. Oh. Uh, they've returned safely. There are many sick, though. Damn. Okay, 61 homeless. Well, they all quickly find homes. But we've now got 14 sick who need to be uh, sent out. Right. This is a long way. That would be three days. 21 hours. One day, eight hours. 16 hours. Honestly, I think it still is good for us to just go all the way here rather than piggy banking. We'll see. Go ahead. Can we do anything for the people? No. We aren't going to make it in this hole. We have to leave. Uh, I drop below that hope threshold now. It's unfortunate. Alright, get more healing done as fast as you can, please. I can always build another place, but I, I want to hold out on infirmaries. Factory researched. Finally. Right. Okay, so we've got the factory. Now is time for an infirmary, I think. It's going to take us a little bit, but it's well worth the effort. Now then. Let's get our factory up and running. Now, what heat level is this? Base heat level of two. Well, that's fine. Have it built out here. Um... Given that there's a fighting arena there, I'd rather not. I'd rather build this uh, here instead. Let's get that going, please. Now, how much more trees are left over here? Uh, 907. That's actually still quite a lot. 
And over here, 396. So that's actually not too much, and then we're going to get rid of that. This is bringing up 67.2 an hour. And we only have to let our people rest for one day and two hours. It's good to see. Right. Engineers, please. Right. I would like one prosthetic. It only requires... Oh, that's an automaton, rather. Oh, we don't have prosthetics yet. I, I want plenty of these, actually. And another one. One steel, 100 wood, 50 coal. And another one. Let's get three. That'll be one, two, possibly three on the thumper. Because then I can stop heating that. Or maybe I'll just put them there instead. We've got a lot of things we'll be able to do with the, the automatons. That'll leave me with just two steam cores. Steam cores are very useful. I should always aim to maintain a positive amount of steam. Wow, we are healing them crazy fast, though. Look at that. It's already down to eight. Infirmary researched. Excellent. Um... This is a level 2 heat building. I could build it here. That'll do the job of the two um, areas that we've got presently. I would probably like to build another. But now that I'm building that there, how would I fit in bunk houses? Let's have a quick look. One, and then a little bit higher. Hmm... Realistically, I'm only getting the benefit of, like, one layer of them. I don't know. No, we won't be building them over there, then. So we can go ahead and build a, a second one there. Is anyone coming back with any refugees? No. And that's the only way you get more people in your colonies, by having more refugees. So uh, we're fine with that. I could just go ahead and build... I'm going to cut back one of my automatons, just to ensure that we maintain a certain level of steam cores. New automaton. Excellent. Right, in terms of technology, Avak, I know you've already got, gotten a win, but you want to use all the church abilities all the time. Uh, will do. Sorry, thank you for, for reminding me about that one. Uh, a wall drill will allow us to basically get constant amounts of uh, of wood, which would be good. We could also then build a charcoal kiln, perhaps. But at this point, one of the things I've been waiting to get is lighter sled, so that our scouts are just a little bit faster. I think that would be useful for us in the long run. Right, so with that, I could have a new automaton handling this place, which means it no longer needs to be heated, nor does that one. And they'll just continually bring us in steel, so that's great. Off it goes. Oopsie. Oopsie. Almost didn't. Oopsie. But. Start. Ha. Whew. Right, Scouts of Reach of Dreadnought. How do we know that Avak isn't Batman? Um. I can't use double shifts on the, on the researchers until I've got let the people rest. Uh, but let's make sure that... I can't use these yet. I, they've got a long cooldown. All right, first let's check this one out. United by Faith. Sir, we're holding an evening of prayer this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying, but also taking, talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything this heartening in our city for a long time. It's really brought the community together. I'm glad to hear it. Can you see them? I will have a look at that in a moment. My dreadnought landing. A huge ship has been dismantled here. Only its massive keel plates remain under the ice. Railroad tracks lead south. Light to the south. We found a piece of hull 
plate bolted to a bo uh, boulder. It's engraved with the following inscription. In the year 1888, the American expedition aboard Hephaestus landed here in search of a haven from the global gl glaciation. May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. Sight discovered, Tesla City. And we've taken a load of stuff. All right, let's head over to Tesla City. 12 hours to get there. 